enjoying a little off-leash freedom with Cooper. I'm about 14 months old now, I guess. At the park, I'm gonna play some chuck it. Good boy, down. Good boy. Sit. Oh, you want that ball? Stand. Yes. Good boy. So, what I do to kind of keep the structure in my play and keep a dog that's happy and always wants to come back to you when they're off leashes, work a little bit of obedience into the mix. So, yes, this is playtime, but I might ask you to sit or down or come or heal for a second or two, and then you'll be released to your toy. Out. Oh boy. Out. Oh boy. Cooper. What do you want? You want your ball? Yes. Oh boy, buddy. And through the process of obviously his training and and uh, our play like this, he's always going to come back. Not even thought in my mind that he's going to go somewhere else, uh, even naked like that without any collars, uh, because I'm the most fun thing out here. Out. It's not the ball. It's not the squirrel. It's not the people with the strange dogs. It's me and the interaction with me, whether it's playing or obedience or just love and attention. Yes. I've been asked uh, a couple times on the Fox Terrier groups, you know, how, is, how does he act when he sees a squirrel or a rabbit or, uh, you know, a person with a dog, and my answer is like, he doesn't act like anything. Yes, they're exciting to him. Out. Yes, they're exciting to him, and if he's free in the backyard, he's probably going to chase a squirrel and catch it. Uh, he's tried a bunch of times. You know, his prey drive's really good, but when I'm out, I'm always the most fun thing out here. And that's kind of my goal of training throughout their lives. Doesn't matter what it is we're doing, I'm the most fun part of that exchange. Good boy, buddy. Very good. Out. No grass, bub. Come here. That is a good boy. Who's my good boy? You want a ball? You want a ball? What do you want? You want that? You want that? Look, Cooper. What do you want? Look. Look. Very good. Yes. That's a good boy. Good job, bub.